Very good. So we should be live now. Welcome, everyone. This is Michael Williams, founder of the Pro90D Smooth Speech System. And we're here once again today to do a live demo and question and answer. So we're going to be having, hey, Suman, how are you? We're going to be having some of our clients and students here, if you're watching, so that you can ask questions. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook Live, I won't be able to see your questions there, but we can see questions that are posted here on YouTube. Uh, so if you do have questions, feel free to ask them and we'll try to get to them some other way. We will have someone that, that uh, will be monitoring those questions in just a few minutes. So once again, I wanna thank all of you that are here watching us and all of you that are participating today, you're going to see people at different stages of their speech. And so we just want you to be mindful of that. Some people have been working on their speech for a while and some not for quite as long. And the purpose of our, our session today is, just as the name says, to give you a, a demo, basically a, a demonstration of what Pro90D is, and to some degree, how it works. And one of the ways that we'll be doing that is posing questions directly to people who are working on their speech right now or have been working on their speech. Um, I'll be guiding the questions, but we also would love to have some questions from you, okay? Uh, will there be a replay? So yes, this will automatically be posted to YouTube, so you will be able to watch it there, okay? Uh, so we have Sakshi here. Sakshi, I'm gonna bring you on as soon as your, your video pops up here. All right. Hey, Sakshi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, your video is working fine. Do you hear an echo when you're speaking or when I'm speaking here? Uh, no, not really. Okay, good, good. Very good. All right, so, <clears throat> Those of you that are here watching this, give me just a second, I gotta turn off a couple of things so we don't get a lot of notifications. Um, and I'm also gonna turn off my WhatsApp. Okay. So those of you that are watching this, you're, you're here because you have some, some questions, right? And, and there are, three main questions that people tend to have. And so we're gonna cover those questions as we walk through this demo question and answer. And one of the big questions that people tend to have is, how can I stop stuttering, right? How can I stop anticipating? How can I stop worrying? How can I stop regretting my speech, beating myself up about it? Uh, how can I do those things and how can I get to a place where I can say what I want to say when I want to say it and the way that I want to say it, okay? So those are questions that people have. Is there actually a way to overcome stuttering, to stop all those things, to stop all of the, the, the worrying and anticipating and thinking about and how can I just be free to say what I want to say? So the first question that I want to pose. And the way that we're going to do this is we'll just have a couple of people answer each question. Okay. So we probably won't have everyone answer every question, but we'll have a couple of people answer each one. So the first question that most people have is, is there actually a way? Is there a way? Is it possible to stop stuttering, to overcome stuttering, to stop anticipating, stop worrying, stop regretting, and start saying what I wanna say, okay? Is there a way? So my question to you guys, I'm gonna bring you all up now, and we'll pick you know, a couple people here. The question is, how did you come to the realization that there was a way? What made you believe you know what, there is a way that I can overcome stuttering so that I can say what I want to say, right? So the question is, what made you believe that? 
Uh, let's, let me just give you an option. Who would like to answer that question first? All right, Alwyn, please. Yes, so thank you, Michael, for uh, the opportunity. Um, there is a way to get rid of your current way of speaking. And this way is probably, it's why you're here, is the way you speak now is stuttering. And there is a way to replace your current way of speaking to um, so that you can uh, speak fluently or better. And if you get inside the system, I am currently working on the self-study. You will learn how to speak differently. You will learn how to speak smoother with more confidence and with a rhythm. So yes, there is a way and you will find out how in the program and by watching the videos of Michael. So uh, yeah. Thank you, Alan. I'm going to come back to you in just a moment, but let's um, let's ask someone else. Uh, what brought you to the realization? What kind of made you believe? Hey, there is a way. And the reason this question is important is because there's people either watching this now or who are going to watch this, and they believe that they're stuck with stuttering. That they're stuck with this for the rest of their life. So they believe they're trapped. That this is it. They've tried different things, it didn't work, or it worked for a while, then it came back. So they believe they're trapped and they're stuck. That's why this question is important. So thank you, Alwyn. Who else would like to answer this question? Yes, Suman, and then we'll go ahead and go to Gordis. Uh, please, go ahead. Hello, everybody. Hello, Michael and my pro 9 gt co-students. So the one thing which led gave me the confidence that there is a way to get over this is this system of the Pro 9 GD, which not only um, addresses the physiological aspect of the speech of the stuttering issue, but it also addresses the psychological aspect of the stutter because unless you attend to both the physiological and the psychological aspect of the stuttering, you will not experience a long-term result, a long-term. Yes, there would be quick fixes which you would be able to experience. But the moment I found out that this system is addressing both the physiological part of the stammering, which is correcting the style of your speaking and the psychological aspect of the stammering, which is changing the way you look at yourself, changing the way you perceive yourself. So when these two aspects are combined, it has, it definitely has a greater potential to bring about change in the way we speak and in the way we look at ourselves as speakers. And the second thing is, it is not only addressing only the speaking, getting over stuttering issue. The goal of the Pro 9 TV system is to make you an excellent speaker, make you an excellent, excellent orator, if I might say excellent orator so it has a much larger goal than merely getting over my stammering problems which is which becomes a smaller minuter goal when compared when you are working for a larger purpose so right. that gave me the impetus to get into this course great thank you simon i'm going to come back to a couple of things that that you said as well in just a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and go to Gordas, and then we'll come back and I'll wrap up a couple of things regarding this. Um, so go ahead, sir. What um, what made you believe that there was a way to overcome this? 
and first of all thank you michael for the opportunity and uh, hello everyone my name is gurdas singh and uh, i'm from india so answering the question uh, when actually i guess everyone who has some speech impediments they know that whenever they are alone and uh, in a and low pressure situation they can say whatever they want to say in their way so and the first thing that i came to know was this that i don't have any issue with my speech it's just the habit which uh, after watching the michael's video and coming across this pro 90d program i came to know that that it's just an habit and this was the two things that i loved about pro 90d program the first one that it's an habit which we build up from the years and uh, yeah we can change it like any other habit so it's just an psychological thing and we need just the exposure and the second thing pro 90d doesn't give us fake beliefs that once you join it you will get cured within a week or a month so it's a process to change your speech as you do change other of your habits and uh, it will take time and vary with person to person so it depends upon your hard work that how you do it and how dedicated you are towards reaching the goal of an fluent speaker so yeah that's the two things that i believe made me to change my belief that yeah i can be the smoothest speaker thank you thank you gurudas thank you um so there's there's a few things that i want to to go over with regards to what all of you just said and then we have a question so we're going to answer that question then we'll move on to the other two questions so Yes. The belief, in fact, you said it very very well, Gordas, is there's a belief that in fact I am I'm stuck with this. It's it's involuntary. We'll talk about that later. It's physiological, it's neurological. Some of those things can actually be very very true, but that there's nothing that I can do about it, right? There's nothing that I can do about it. So that's a belief that at least some people have the fact is in fact one of the secrets that some people don't know or they ignore this is that the way to stop stuttering to stop anticipating to stop worrying to stop regretting is not to try to stop it at all but it is to replace it right because the way you and I speak let's just call it uh, your speaking style your pattern of speaking if you struggle with your speech then we would say that you have a stuttering speaking style right you have a stuttering speech so what we have to do is not try to stop it treat it or fix it we have to replace it because it's a way of speaking and ways can be replaced with new ways that's the secret you can replace it just as gordas said that he's by himself or in certain other speaking situations in fact he may be able to speak perfectly fluently so physiologically he's capable of saying what he wants to say but something happens psychologically and yes neurologically when he's in different speaking situations that causes him to not be able to say what he wants to say so what we're saying is that your stuttering speech can be replaced with smooth speech okay and i think i wrote something down the last time that we'll just pop this over for you to look at so your speaking style your speaking style can be replaced with a new way of speaking with a smooth way of speaking so we're going from stuttering speech to smooth speech this can be done because you and i both know that the way you speak if you block or if you run out of air or if you're starting and stopping it is in fact a way it's a style it's a pattern of speaking that's a fact it's called disfluent speech disfluent 
Speech is a way of speaking. Ways can be changed or replaced with new ways. That's a fact. Unless you have brain damage from an accident or stroke, and even people who are stroke victims can, through neuroplasticity, rewire their brains to recover their speech. So even if our brains are damaged, it's still possible to speak well. All right. So we know that we can do this. It's a fact. So that's number one. And then the second thing, we'll just look at that as well. Stuttering also has a mindset or a way of thinking associated. So you heard the guys talk about that, right? They, they talked about the, the mindset, the way that you think. Your mindset or your way of thinking can also be replaced with a new way of thinking. All right. And then the final thing that may or may not have been mentioned is stuttering also carries with it an identity, who you believe yourself to be in various speaking situations. So some people identify themselves as stutterers. I'm someone who stutters or I'm a stutterer or I tend to stutter or I tend to get stuck or blocked on these words. That's an identity. Your identity can also be changed. Your speaking identity can be changed. And so that's what Pro90D does. So there is a way. And as Suman said, uh, it goes beyond just trying to stop stuttering or overcome stuttering. It goes beyond that and goes to helping you actually become an excellent speaker so that you can say what you want to say when you want to say it the way that you want to say it. So I've got two more questions that I'm going to ask these guys. But first, let's look at a question that someone asked. I'm going to post this. I'm going to just go back a little bit. All right. So, uh, and this happens quite often. So someone uh, purchased a couple of the older programs. The content is there. I'm still having similar severe stuttering. Can I have hope in the new program? Any discount for me with the new program if I join your last two? So in terms of discount, that's something that we can definitely talk about. We'll look you up in the system. But let's actually pose this question to some of our clients here. And I'm going to start with Sakshi. So Sakshi, someone has joined our older programs. Let's just say because the 2.0 has been out for a long time now, like several years. Um, or maybe they've been in a program that's been out for four or five years. And they still are having severe stuttering problems. What would you say to that person, Sakshi? And then I'm going to ask maybe one, one or two other people um, for their response to this. Juan, you're there. So if you'd like to address this, I can ask you, right? You can just let me know. Um, Sakshi, let's bring you on. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, uh, I can hear you. Could you please repeat your question? Yeah. So, well, it's actually, it's actually their question, and it is, hey, I've enrolled in some of your older programs, but I'm still stuttering. Mm. I'm having severe stuttering problems. How would, what do you think is going on there? Yeah, I think what's going on is that um, whoever this person is, maybe they are not doing exactly what, what the program is um, wanting you to do uh, on a daily basis. So because the work has to be put in from the side of the client or the, or the person who has taken the course. And so I would strongly recommend that you actually do the thing that uh, Michael says that the daily practice and things that have to be done on a daily basis because you're trying to change a habit that is deep-rooted. So it will take time, but there has to there has to be some work put into it. So maybe what's happening is like we it's it's like taking a gym membership and saying that I'm not losing weight if you're not going to the gym at all, but you've taken the membership and you're not going. So how are you going to lose weight? So I think uh, that's what's happening. Yeah. Juan, Juan, what would you say to this person? Because we've all done this before. We've all taken programs and done some of it, done none of it, or done it inconsistently. What would you say to this person? Yes, yes. Well, Michael, first of all, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. And I will say that I, I am completely agree with Sashi, with the similitude of this 
with a with a gym, right? And that it's well, it's 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 something that requires a lot of work. So uh, yes, it is quite possible if you do the work, you have to put your effort and do the work or do the workout every day. And yes, it, it's well, it's amazing to see how this really helps. This this really work and and produce the results that we all want. Thank you, Juan. So, just to reiterate a couple of things. So we're not saying that you didn't ever do the work, but what generally happens, and what all of these people can tell you, is you are in fact rewiring your brain. You're literally changing the structure of your brain. You're creating, building, strengthening new neural connections, which represent new patterns or new ways of speaking and thinking and believing, right? So you're literally changing your brain. And in order to do that, in order to change our bodies, to grow them, it requires consistent repetition over time. You have to be doing the same things every day, all day, in this case, all day, every day for a period of time, and it has to be consistent. So what tends to happen is people go through these different cycles where because of the placebo effect, they start out, they're motivated, they see a change, then there's a dip. Then they go, up. Oh, it's not working. I didn't think it was gonna work anyway or I thought that maybe this would happen. And then they start letting up on the practices. And so their brain never gets a chance to wire in the new speaking style and the new way of thinking, okay? And then they'll go find something else. They'll use this technique, that technique, they'll come back. So they're inconsistent and therefore their brain doesn't have a chance to wire in the new speaking style. It really is that simple have to be consistent. You have to go through those dips. You have to go through the dips. Every person here can tell you that, and they're still on that journey. We all are to a degree. So it's very important to understand the process of how this works. Um, so if you've had other programs and you want to get into the new one, it's still going to require you to be consistent. For sure, the new one is more efficient because all of my clients, all of my students give feedback and we roll that feedback as well as science, as well as my experiences, Sakshi's experience. We roll it into each new version of the program, making it better and better, and more and more and more and more efficient. All right. So hopefully we answered that question. Now, it brings us to the next question that we're going to pose to our guests here. And this next question also comes out of a belief, and that is that, okay, yes, we believe there is a way to do this, right? But it probably won't work for me. It probably won't work for me. Yes, there's a way, but my situation is different, or it's unique, or I'm unique, or I've tried stuff before, so it probably won't work for me or for you. So then the question that I want to pose to my guests here is this. What made you believe that Pro90D would work for you? So maybe you said, aha, all right, I do believe in the science. I do believe that this is probably working for some other people, but I'm not sure it'll work for me. So what made you believe that Pro90D would work for you? So let's go to Pranav. Pranav, would you like to answer that? Yes. Hi, everyone. It's very nice to see all of you all and thank you for having me. Uh, for me, why I believe uh, that the system will work is uh, because it works on the mindset. For me, smooth speech is a mixture of a set and a mindset. In this program, it's a lot to do the mindset 
of the way you think, of your self-talk, of the affirmations. So all of these are very powerful tools which help you in the smooth speed journey. So along with the uh, different skill sets and the tools, when you are working on your mindset as well, I think that was the main reason why I felt that the program was working and it will work and it is working for me. I hope I answered that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Pranav. All right. Who else would like to uh, tackle that question? Uh, let's see. We got some people. Or is there anybody that's offline here? Suman, yes. Please go ahead. Well, you go to a driving school and somebody teaches you the techniques of driving. It, it will help anybody who learns the techniques of driving to drive a vehicle. You go to a gymnasium, somebody teaches you the techniques of how to build your body. Anybody who learns and follows that system that has been taught will invariably get the result. It is just the basic law of cause and effect. So this pro 90 d system gives the scientifically based program the cause, the solution, which is scientifically based. So because of this basic principle of cause and effect, irrespective of who you are, what your background is, how long you have been stammering, if you follow a systematic scientific, if you take a, a teacup, if you put two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of milk, one teaspoon of tea bag, you will get a cup of tea. Whether it is in South Africa, whether it is in the United States, whether it is in America, if you combine these ingredients, you will get a cup of tea. Similarly, there is this scientific system which has been provided to us. So anybody who follows this scientific system, sincerely immersing themselves completely into the program, will invariably experience the result. There will be no doubt about it. Thank you, Suman. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask, this question of Dr. Vinya as well. And if someone else wanted to answer, they can just raise their hand because this is an important question. Sometimes people, again, I'll just repeat the question. They believe that in fact, there is something out there. There is a way to overcome this, to take their speech to the next level, but they believe that it won't work for them. Sometimes they might believe that they won't do the work, right? But they believe that probably that it may not work for them. So, the question was, uh, what made you believe that Pro 90D would work for you, that it does work and it would work for you? So let me just put that out to Dr. Vinya. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Hi, uh, everyone. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to say that uh, in the beginning, when I heard about Pro 90D, I thought us. It's like any other uh, speech program. But what drew me towards it is the science behind this program. Uh, being in the, uh, like, you know, in this field, I realized that everything what Michael was saying was absolutely true regarding the neural circuits and um, the wiring of the neurons and everything, all those things, whatever he says in his program made a lot of sense. So I think the science behind the program drew me towards the program in the beginning. And after I started the program, I could see visible results. And uh, I just stuck on to it. And uh, I think immersion is the key. We will have uh, slightly difficult days. 
but I think just sticking on to the program, just practicing whatever he asks us to do on an everyday basis and, you know, doing all of that and just immersion. I think immersion is the key. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Vinya. So there's a question out there, and I just wanted to get to this. Uh, where is it? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, okay. It's It wasn't really a question, but... But someone said, well, it looks like all of your clients are Indian. <laughs> so I just wanted to, to address that. We actually do have, we have Juan here, we have Alvin here, and they can all tell you because they actually see some of our clients from different parts of the world. So we have clients from all over. It's just that not everyone has the time because some people are working. We have some people from Australia and New Zealand, and we have some people who just don't want to put their face online, right? You know, quite frankly, I have a security expert and he doesn't want to put his face online, but he's doing a fantastic job and you'll hear me talk about him and he has written something. So we do have clients, lots of clients from all over the world, all different languages. One, I believe your first language is Spanish. So uh, in just a little bit, I just want to ask you how this translates over into Spanish. I'm going to just you know, ask you about that. But so just to let you know that we do have clients from all over the world, uh, but we have our, our brave clients who are here today. So so thank you guys for being here. The the next question that I want to ask, and Saksi, if you see any questions that you want to, to answer, and we will get to a question and answer portion shortly that we want to bring on screen, just let me know if it's something that... Um, that we need to group to answer. But the final question that I have for you guys is this. So some people, wait, let me just go back because I think I only had Dr. Vinya address that. So let's go back to this question and have some more people. So the question was, uh, what made you believe that this would work for you? So we asked Dr. Vinya that. Let's ask uh, some more people. Alwyn, Alwyn, what made you believe that Pro90D would work for you? Um, well, basically because of you told that it's about changing patterns and the way you speak is a current pattern and people that want to improve their speech, for example, and they are stuttering or they are blocking, they are, they are speaking with the current pattern and that kind of made sense to me because I played uh, football uh, two years back. I uh, I stopped, but I played football, and I, I always uh, mimicked uh, sports players. I mimicked uh, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, and because I did that, um, I quickly developed my football skills and was able to play better. So when you were when you were talking about changing your current pattern and trying to mimic someone else, trying to model, for example, you, Michael Williams. Um, you can quickly develop a new speaking style. And that kind of made sense to me. And yeah, that's, this was actually the reason why I wanted to go into this program, into the self-study. And I just wanted to see if it works for me. And I can say that it works uh, perfectly. So uh, yes, it's... Uh, basically the reason. Thank you. Thank you. Good. So we have, I've got one more question, then we're going to do several other things here before we wrap up. Um, and Anika, if, if you can hear me, if you want to, I'm going to just add you on the screen here. So let me know if you're, if you're still there and if you're able to answer this question as well, uh, since we haven't heard from you yet, I think you're having some internet issues, but here's this next question. So some people feel like this is involuntary. All right. So first thing is there's a belief that there's nothing I can do about it. I'm trapped. Uh, there's just really no long-term solution. Well, okay. So let's just say that now you're halfway convinced that there is a solution, right? And it's not really about stopping, but it's about replacing because it's a way, it's a pattern and we can replace ways and patterns of speaking and thinking. We can change our beliefs. Second is, 
uh, well, how do I know to work for me? I'm different. Well, we have people from all over the world, all different languages, and they say that it's working for them. So, so let's say that you now believe, okay, it could work for me. But then there's this thing that as you're going through this, you may feel like uh, the blocking, the secondary movements, the facial movements, the movements of your body or your mouth or whatever, that it's involuntary. There's nor logical. There's nothing you can do about it, right? So sometimes people say, well, you know, everyone says slow down. Well, I can't slow down, especially I'm in a high pressure speaking situation. Everything just comes out and everything goes out the window. Everything that I've studied and practiced goes out the window and I can't control myself. So this is involuntary. So the question for you guys is this. What made you believe that you actually could get control of this, right? That you could, that you can control your speech and then beyond that, that you could become an excellent speaker, right? That you can not only control it, but that you could replace it with smoother speech. What made you finally realize and believe that you could become an excellent speaker, that you could control? So I'm going to start with Sakshi, then I'm going to go down, I'm going to come over to who did we lose? Looks like we might have lost someone here. Um, all right, I'm gonna go to Sakshi. Juan, if you'd like to answer this, you can. Uh, we'll come over to Gordidas, to Gordidas. Um, so Sakshi, if you can address that for me. Sure. Um, so what made me think that I can transform my speech? Is that the question? Yeah. What? Like the, the underlying belief is that it's involuntary. There's nothing you can do about it. So what made you believe that you could do something about it? Right. Um, I think someone had mentioned uh, before about how when I learned that speech was actually a habit and it's not something that is in me or that, that I'm born, I've been born with that I cannot change. So definitely when I used to face issues with my speech, I used to stutter and stammer. I used to think that, oh my God, this is something that I can never change. I will have to live with it. And that's it. Like I, I cannot do uh, public speaking or I cannot talk in front of groups of people. I have to take up a job that doesn't require speaking. So all those thoughts came to my mind. But when I saw Pro 90 d I realized that, oh, speech is a habit. I can change this, you know, there is hope. So when that hope came, I was able to completely change the way I was thinking about this. And I mean, it just brings a lot of difference. The moment you start thinking in a different way, you just start feeling differently and you start doing things differently that are actually good for you. So I think Pro 90 d is a system that creates a context or supports you to transform your speech through all these things, through thoughts, behaviors, feelings. You're just, it's a very transformative. Thank you, Sakshi. Uh, Juan, Juan, would you like to briefly address that? The fact that I think most people kind of feel like this is it's something they can't control. What What made you believe that, well, I can control this and I can improve it? Got to unmute you. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you, you can hear me, I guess. And yes. thank you, Michael. Yes, I, 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 I do would like to to add to 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 this answer or to this question because well. I will say that in my personal experience, I had a struggle with my speech for several years. I, I used to struggle uh, very severe and have a struggle with it for several years. And it, be it became part of my identity, right? So, well, I think uh, Sashi has already mentioned this, that 
uh, with this program, something quite quite important is that it gives you hope, and the hope is based on science. Well, in my personal experience, this hope was quite important and it helps me to change my belief that something could be done. And well, then with the practice, when you start discovering that the science really works, well, it uh, retroalimenta, it, it, it give you more, more, well, it, it give you more hope that it can really work for you. And well, th this is like, like a snowball that it, it gets, it, it, it start getting bigger and bigger. And another, well, magnificent or, well, uh, or, 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 or very important element is that as it applies to your identity, it works in either language that you speak. Well, as you mentioned, I am uh, from, from, from Latin America. I, I am, actually I am Venezuelan. So my fir first language is Spanish. And uh, uh, well, it, it, it applies very smooth forward in, in Spanish. Also, well, even for me, it's kind of difficult to uh, answer this question in English because it's not my first language. But, but yeah, it, it applies to your identity. You are able to change your identity. I hope this has made some sense. Yes, absolutely. And I wanna first, I wanna applaud um, Juan, because I speak Spanish, I'm not completely fluent, probably not as fluent as Juan. And I know if I were trying to answer a question like that, I would be getting stuck probably pretty, pretty severely. So uh, Juan, it, it takes a lot of courage, but it just goes to show that this process translates into your own languages, right? And gives you the confidence to come online like this or to stand in front of people and speak in multiple languages. And it does help to transform your identity and your confidence as, as Juan was talking about. So, and it's rooted in the science. So the science gives you the hope and the hope is what motivates you and pushes you to keep going. And as you see the people on the screen and this guy right here, Harris just said, um, hey, you know, I've been doing the program for a couple of weeks and I can already feel the change in me. Okay, so really does work because it's based on science. And let's, let's go ahead and, and take a look at some other questions here. Uh, Ganraj, so please tell how remembering successes can help you improve your speech. So remember, we talked about how people regret beat themselves up. They constantly think about their failures, the times when they got stuck. That's not going to help you. Uh, remembering your successes is a part of the process in our program. Like we actually have uh, a, a series of things that you go through. It's called the, the science, right? The science to help you remember your successes, right? To systematically to pull up out of your memory and think about the successes that you've had. So who, who would like, let me just get one person, who would like to address that question or comment, how remembering your successes can help you and how this is a part of the Pro90 speech system? Who wants to just address that really quick? Let me just, let's, yes. Okay, Pranav. All right, go ahead. Wait, unmute. If you can unmute, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel that 
we need to really remember our successes, not think of the failures. Because at the end of the day, it's your successes which make a difference. And if you have a failure here or there, uh, that's okay. As it's in the program, it's just a bump in the road. We don't really need to focus our attention on the failures, but it's the successes which are the key. And as we build on them, uh, they are the stepping stones to success. So I feel that we must always focus on the successes that we have and forget the failures. Very good. Very good. Thank you. So this is very, very important. I mean, it's critically important because if you keep thinking about, if you keep regretting, um, oh man, I had a bad speaking experience today or yesterday, and you keep thinking about it, what you're doing is you're visualizing it. You're imagining it because the emotions come along with it, right? The feelings of being embarrassed, of being upset, of being frustrated comes along with the picture that you keep playing in your mind of what happens. So what you're doing is reinforcing that experience, actually making it more likely that it would happen again. Okay. Now, the good thing about this is you see how visualizing and how thinking about and even speaking about an experience can reinforce or can create future experiences. What we do in Pro90D is use that same process to help you reinforce and create successful positive experiences. The thinking about, the emotionalizing, emotionalizing, the talking about successes that you've had, that's what we do. And it reinforces and helps you create more successful speaking experiences. That's a part of the program. So a couple of things that I wanna go through. Uh, if there's other questions that people have, please feel free to post those, but I wanna go through a couple of things that uh, we also may have our guests speak to. So in Pro90D, how is it that we address all these things? Well, the first thing that we do is we give you like a turn-by-turn -turn roadmap or step-by-step -step system. So it's like you wanna go somewhere that's far away, you don't know how to get there, you need a turn-by-turn -turn roadmap, you need directions, turn-by-turn. Pro90D gives you that step-by-step -step system in our daily blueprint of activities. So you get that in the self-study and you also get it with the coaching. Number two, number two, you get a, a way to replace your mindset. So remember for m virtually everyone, stuttering is also not just about speech. Okay, so hopefully you can also see this. It's not just about speech. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for just a second and then we'll come back to it so give me a second so it's not just about speech but it's also about your mindset so we want to go from a stuttering mindset to a confident mindset that means you stop the anticipating you stop the scanning ahead switching words um, already before you go into a speaking situation, knowing that I'm going to have problems with these words and this word and that word, or I'm going to have a bad speaking day, or I got to answer the phone, or I got to say my name, and, and you're already anticipating that you're going to have problems with that. What the Pro 90D speech system does is it addresses that and takes you from that stuttering mindset to a confident mindset where you're either not thinking about that at all or you're confident to know that you can handle it, you can handle it well, that you can do a good job. <clears throat> so how do we do that? Right here with daily audios. These are specifically designed audios for you to listen to on a daily basis. Verbalization, we talk about that in the program. It's an expanded form of visualization, but more powerful. Uh, the retrain your brain, which is a the science of the system, which talks about reinforcing your successes, creating speaking experience. The information is there for you to listen to. How do we learn? We learn by watching. We learn by listening. We learn by practicing. We also learn by speaking, right? Uh, we can learn things by smelling and in some other ways as well, right? But these are ways that we learn. So we give you the content to look at, to watch, to listen to, to talk about, to practice. So you get that 
ways to replace your mindset and affirmations and visualization. What about your speaking style? What about just speaking smoother so you can say what you want, when you want, the way you want? We give that to you through modeling practice. Alwyn talked about that, how he modeled another athlete. Well, almost all athletes model someone else. They have modeled someone else. Musicians, artists, um, many, many people. In fact, everyone has modeled someone because the way you learn to speak your first language and maybe even your second is you modeled someone, right? Everyone modeled someone and we often model people and we don't even know it even as adults. So modeling comes from what we call observational learning. And so this is one of the tools that we use to help you replace your speaking style, proactive speaking skills. These are the skills that people use who speak well. You'll start observing people around you who inflect, who use body language, who use facial expressions, who articulate, so forth and so on. Daily practice group. I think all the guys that you see here are part of a daily practice group. They practice seven days a week. So you get to become a part of a powerful community of people who can hold you accountable, but also give you feedback and give you a safe environment in which to put into practice the things you're learning, which is critically important. If you try to do this all by yourself and you don't put it into practice, it's just not going to work. It's not going to work. So the community is very, very powerful, uh, and it's a critical part of your improvement. I've watched coaching clients and self-study students improve their speech within a few weeks, within a month, within a couple of months by attending this practice group. So you get access to that as well. Then finally, you get a way to replace your speaking identity. Modeling is a part of that, as well as practical application, that is using it in your daily speech. So these are all things that are part of the system. So what I want to do now is just get back to uh, our guests. So guys, as we begin to wrap this up, I just want to give each person who wants to an opportunity to, to say something that maybe you wanted to say but didn't say uh, that addresses these questions, these beliefs that people have. Number one, is there really a way that works long term? Uh, and is there a way that can help me not just not stutter but become an excellent speaker so that I can say what I want, when I want, the way that I want? Is there a way that I can go from stuttering to that? So that's one question that you can address, and we want you to be relatively brief. The second question is, how do I know that this will work for me? Okay, I believe it'll work, but how do I know it'll work for me? And the third question is, the fact that this feels like it's involuntary. It feels like there's nothing I can do. No matter what I try, I can't seem to control this. Um, if you guys want to just address that. So let's start with Gordas. Gordas. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that halfway correct. Gordas. Yeah, you're saying it correct. Okay. And then we'll just go around. Yes, sir. So go ahead. You can address any of those questions briefly. Yeah. So I want to address the question that uh, it seems invo involuntary, but uh, then how can we change it? So I just want to cite an example of mine that when I just started the program Pro 90D in uh, 2018, the self study one, and for the First month, I was like very much into it. Then I just, you know, human nature and I just dropped off. And then I started having the issues again. But uh, then I realized that it has worked for me the once and it can work for me again. And uh, I realized, I observed myself that when I'm alone, as I started in the very beginning also, I don't do any involuntary face expressions, I don't make them, or I don't do anything. And then I realized that sometimes when I speak, when I air link the word correctly, I am able to say whatever I want to say without making any facial expressions or any humbling. So then I realized that when air linking doesn't work for me, it's 
like i recorded myself on the phone calls and uh, while having the conversation with people and i noticed that i just stop before the word that uh, i want to air link so yeah, that was happening so if you think that it's involuntary i guess it's wrong because you should be able to observe yourself that yeah i'm doing this thing wrong and i can correct it and it only happens with practice and exposure yeah so it's not involuntary you have to take a step up great. and you can do it great thank you one quick thing i wanted to say about that is observing yourself so one of the things that that will happen to you as you go through the process you're going to become more aware of how you're speaking and what you're thinking that's the first step you have to become aware if not if you're not aware then you, there's no way for you to change it all right great thank you thank you for that uh suman hi michael i think i have um, addressed a couple of these questions earlier but one thing i would like to share is that what has personally worked for me till now is the complete immersion into the process complete immersion where you have to listen to the daily audios have to look at the daily videos and have to do the daily modeling practices and to an extent where i started synchronizing the daily affirmations to the pace of my walking so now it has become so natural that every time i walk from one building to another building or go down the road i am involuntarily starting to do my affirmation so it is there right through the day so one thing that has personally helped me is immersing myself into the program completely and doing uh, whatever the daily activities are which has been prescribed as part of the pro 90 degree system and the second thing is please do not look for quick results please do not look for quick results because the results will be an accumulation of the efforts that you put on a daily basis and you will never know when the penny will drop and you will start experiencing the results of thank your you efforts. thank you so much uh, one thing that i love that you said is it's an accumulation again we talk about this we talk about this in the program everything accumulates this is not just with speech but in life so everything that you do accumulates and you you never really know like you said when the penny drops when it's going to hit but it does hit they can all tell you that's all said and bam wow look at this so thanks dr vinya um any any one of those questions that you want to address or anything that you want to say to those who are listening oh wait a minute we have to unmute you okay yeah can you hear me yes. now michael yes so i think one thing uh, i would like to say about the pro 90d is that um, it transforms you as a entire human being it not only transforms your speech but it makes you a relaxed person it actually changes your mindset makes you a new human being i think i mean uh, that's what has happened to me i was this very shy a uh, very um, you know i would get so scared to even speak to a group of um, audience but now i'm so relaxed and it has really helped me in uh, transforming myself so uh, yeah i think immersion is the key we have to just um, uh, do all the affirmations the breathing techniques and everything what is there in the program uh repeatedly until we see the results and even after we see the results just make it a part of our everyday routine so that it becomes uh as basically so i i think uh, this is the key and uh, one more thing that the program stresses is that it says that it's a shift in the identity that is very important you should start believing that you are a superior speaker 
uh, if you start believing or if you keep believing in yourself that you know you are a stutterer or you don't speak well then this program doesn't work you should believe that you are a superior speaker i think that is the starting point once you start believing that you are a superior speaker then everything else falls in place like you know you're relaxed you start inflecting you start expanding your words all the techniques fall in place so i think the starting point is belief you have to believe you're a superior speaker thank you dr venya everything flows um, so we'll just have uh, a few more people well, we have a few more people left and we'll we'll get to them i just wanted to say belief is very important that's why as uh, some of the clients and students mentioned earlier, we, we cover not only your speech, your speaking style, right? Transforming it from a stuttering style to a smooth speaking style, but your mindset from a stuttering mindset to a confident mindset and your identity, that's who you believe you are as a speaker to a confident speaker's identity. It's very important to be able to do that. And so you say, well, how do I do that? Well, this entire process is designed to accomplish that goal for you and the community. And by immersing yourself and getting yourself into this process, you actually start to create evidence for yourself. You start to see evidence that you actually are improving. And as you see that evidence, you start to believe, wow, this is possible. I am becoming an excellent speaker. So that's very, very important. Let's go to Alwyn, then Pranav, then we'll wrap up with you, Juan. Um, so, Alwyn, go ahead. So I can just add something now, or yes, yes sir. all right. Uh, well, the most uh, important things have already been said, I guess. Um, I just want to encourage everything of, or everyone that is having troubles with his or her speech. Um, I want you to encourage to take a look at the self-study program because it will help you. Um, it will change your life, like India already said. Um, you will improve your life, but you will also improve the lives of others because if you can truly say what you want to say, um, you can you can improve someone's life. That's very important, I think, uh, because there were situations where I wanted to say things to certain people. So for example, I wanted to, to be there for them, but I couldn't say what I wanted to say. And then you're going to, to be angry uh, on yourself, with yourself, because you think, man, I just could help this person if I could speak well. And now I couldn't. So that's also a reason why I wanted to develop my speech to improve the lives of others. So yeah, that's something uh, I wanted to add. Thank you. Thank you. That's extremely powerful, guys. Um, that's one of the reasons that 20 some years ago, I began working on my speech is so that I could help other people. And in fact, that's what I'm doing now. And so all of each and every one of you are called to touch the lives of people around you in your household, in your community, and in the broader, in the global community, in the world, especially with technology. And just like Alwyn said, uh, if, you're, if you don't wanna speak because of stuttering, stammering, speaking too fast, if you don't wanna speak, you don't feel like you can, there are going to be people out there who miss out, who lose out, who don't become who they're supposed to become because you and I haven't become who we are called to become as a result of our speech. So we're giving you an opportunity to transform your speech so that you can transform the lives of others. That is probably one of the biggest and the best reasons to do this. Thank you so much, Alwyn. Uh, let's go to Pranav and then we'll wrap up with, um, with Juan. All right, yes, Pranav, go ahead. Any just last uh, minute comments? Sure, actually most of the things have been discussed, but once again, Speech is a habit, and that habit can be changed. Secondly, in this program, you have to work hard, be it on your formal practice or the informal practice. But the main thing is the mindset. Once you have that mindset, that 
I am a great speaker. I speak very, really well. Then all the little bit of the failure that you have will just become a hump in the road. They will not have any importance because your aim and your goal is to become excellent speaker, to impact the audience. So I feel that mindset has helped me a lot as well. And that is a mindset that we derive in this program. So uh, I would say that's all. And uh, I would really ask and strongly urge all the people who are sitting on the fence to please uh, uh, take this right uh, because it will be really beneficial. Thank you. Thank you, Pranav. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Juan, all right, let's wrap up with you. Any, any final comments um, that you'd like to make? Thanks, Michael. And yeah, well, I think that mostly have been said Right, and yes, I, I agree with all of my fellows. Uh, uh, well, with with all my fellows uh, speakers, and I will just want to say that, as they have already told, speaking it's a habit, and well, the idea of what, what I guess the idea of this system, the Prunaid D system is not just to overcome a stuttering, but to become an excellent speaker. That's something that really moves me into it. And well, that I am really looking forward to become an excellent speaker. And as Alvin said, to being able to share my ideas with the rest of, of the world. Well, and, 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 and just start feeling more relaxed and, 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 and happier with, with myself. So my, inner circle will be we will be better we will be happier so it's a it's a win-win situation i mean i i am improving my speech and at the same time the life of the of my surrounding circle very good I th thank you, Juan. So I just want to wrap up. I'm going to answer a question that someone has about modeling. And I just want to comment a little bit on what you said that so many of my clients and students, including you guys, you're finding that you're feeling happier. You're feeling more relaxed. Now, this doesn't mean that your speech is perfect and that you don't have these fluencies because I'm sure all of you do. We all do right to one degree or another we all kind of get stuck we fumble over our speech from time to time but if if all of us look back to a month ago three months ago four months ago six months a year ago your speech is probably very very different you're feeling a lot more relaxed you're feeling a lot happier you're able to express yourself and that's just going to keep getting better so i want to thank all of you guys for being here today and thank you for sharing let me just answer this question here that someone had um, so been doing the self-studies helped you a lot. Do I need to keep my model in mind all the time or just use the speaking style of my model and imagine him at the beginning? So I'm just going to answer that real quick. Um, different people model in different ways. So the best way, as Dr. Vinya said, is to immerse yourself in the process. So especially in the beginning, whenever you speak, you want to keep your model in mind. Now, what does that mean? Well, for some people, it just means uh, doing the things that your model does. If your model might do hand gestures, your model might do facial expressions, your model has a, a way of speaking. 
And so when you do those things, you feel like you're modeling. For other people, they actually pull up an image of their model. For others, they may pull up an audio. They can hear their model and they just follow that. For some people, it's a combination of things. So when you speak, you will need to pull those triggers. I call them triggers in the program. They're things that you can do or say to yourself that when you do it, you're in that modeling mode. You don't quite feel like yourself. So you do that continuously throughout the speech. Now, you may do it in the beginning, and then a few minutes later, you'll forget. Well, guess what? You got to remind yourself. So when you immerse yourself, you're going to have to constantly remind yourself throughout an every single conversation, all throughout the day, every day, what happens? Well, what happens is the more you repeat that, the more you repeat that process of reminding yourself to speak like your model, speak like your model every day, all day, and it gets tiring. But the more you do it, what's happening is your, your brain is now starting to wire that new pattern of speaking and that new way of thinking in. It's starting to wire it in because you're repeating it. Your, those neurons that represent that way of speaking are firing together. Neurons that fire together, wire together, Hebb's law. So in order for them to wire together, meaning you're able to do it uh, smoothly and naturally and automatically, you have to repeat it constantly. So you can't just do it in the beginning and forget or do it today. And then when you don't feel like you need it, when you're around your friends or family, not do it. You have to do it all the time if you want it to become natural because if you don't, then what happens is you're constantly going to have to activate it manually. You're going to have to try. Then when you're under pressure, it probably won't work. So I hope I answered your question. You need to do it all the time. If you do it all the time, your brain doesn't want you to have to think about it all the time. So it will wire it in and make it automatic. Okay. All right. Great. Um, I want to thank everyone for being here today. Thank all of you for sticking around. Thank you for your your comments and your questions for your insight. Um, and I hope that this was a good, fun and challenging experience for you to be here. I want all of you to know who are watching this, uh, none of them rehearsed any of these answers because I didn't give them the questions. So this was off the top of their head, it's extemporaneous. Um, and so they had to come up with the answers on the spot. They know that this is live. So this is also a part of their training and their practice to come on and be live and answer questions. So this is a lot of fun, it's challenging, and it's gonna boost their confidence. And once again, the expectation is not that all of these guys will be 100% fluent, we all are gonna stumble, that's perfectly okay. Uh, but the fact is that they came and they all did well and their confidence level is now gonna be boosted exponentially because they did this. So the next time they're gonna do even better and they have a positive experience to look back on. And they can look back and go, wow, I should have maybe done this a little better, or maybe I could have done this, and then they're gonna be able to do that the next time. So it's all good experience. Thank you guys for being here, and we'll see you all the next time, okay? All right, thank you.